Hey, my name is Isla. If you don't know me, I'm a dietitian and I have a weight loss private practice called the Millennial Nutritionist. So everything that I focus on is weight loss for millennials. And I know millennials go to Trader Joe's all the time. So I'm doing a special kind of like um, picks from Trader Joe's. This is not like my normal haul. I feel like I normally just show you everything that I got for the week, but this time I really wanted to show you what I would get if I was, you know, advising somebody to go to Trader Joe's and find some lower calorie things. Trader Joe's is great for a place for inspiration to find healthy food. So if you feel like you're in a food rut with some healthy food options, go to Trader Joe's and look for things. But I feel like Trader Joe's can be deceiving sometimes because some people think that everything at Trader Joe's is healthy when that's not the case or like low calorie. So I'm gonna show you some of my picks. I found a lot of really great, really great stuff. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in probably like two years, um, but I used to go a lot. So I found some old things that I really liked, but also some new things that I think could keep um, your weight loss journey really fun, focusing on low calorie foods and fruits and vegetables. So this is just kind of a sample of some of the things that I found and maybe I'll go back and do another one later with more things. But I guess starting out, um, I kind of like did a mini investigation of my, over my Instagram, so make sure to go follow me on The Millennial Nutritionist and talked about like why people eat fast food or convenience items. And um, I found out that a lot of people think it's pretty cheap, but also really convenient like if you forget something. If you're able to plan ahead, I would really encourage you to try to grab some like fast meals or something from a grocery store or even if you are in a pinch and instead of going to go get fast food, trying to go to the grocery store, like Trader Joe's has all these awesome pre-made meals. So I want to show you some. So something like this is a really great idea. Um, it's like a lemon basil pasta salad. And yes, it has tons of pasta, but the calories on it are actually pretty low. It's 200, well actually, it's about four to 500 calories. But depending on your calorie needs, I mean, most people that I counsel, they they need about um, 1500 calories a day. This would be perfect for like a one meal option. You would wanna maybe add some protein to it. So I found some um, chicken sausage. This is a great, I love these from Trader Joe's. These chicken sausages are pretty low in calories. One link is only 110 calories and you get 11 grams of protein. So a good way to spice up your protein options. So adding one of these on here, if it's within your calories or maybe doing half of these in a sausage link with it and saving the rest for leftovers would be a really great lunch idea. Another good lunch idea. I used to actually eat these all the time. My mom showed me these. <laughs> so mom, if you're watching, thank you. Um, they're like pre-made chicken breasts and they are super good. I'm actually not a huge fan of like regular chicken. I feel like I burned myself out on it a very long time ago because it's cheap, right? And easy to make. But um, these are actually really good. They're really moist. This one I got, um, I like it's balsamic and rosemary chicken breasts. And this would be great also on top of this as a protein option. Um, I also found all, they have tons and tons of like salad kits. Um, actually, that's not a salad kit. This is a salad kit I wanted to try this week. It's a peanut and crispy noodle salad kit. I mean, the calories on salad kits are normally pretty great. So um, <clears throat> about a cup and a half of this is 140 calories, and that's pretty good. You could even do two servings to make a really big meal, and I would recommend adding chicken breast to make the protein there so it's an all-encompassing you know, all meal. Um, pretty good. They have tons and tons of these salad kits there. <laughs> um, another salad kit that I found that looked good, Sesame Crunch Chop Salad Kit. Again, it's um, 130 calories for one cup of this, so you could easily do like two cups. And then I would recommend adding the chicken to make it a complete meal with some protein to keep you full. But this would be a great option if you don't feel like cooking lunch this week, or maybe you're still working from home and you don't have time to like make meals, um, this would be a great grab and grow option to get vegetables in and get protein in. Sorry, this like piece of hair is like bothering me. All right, we're just gonna have to ignore. Um, so those are kind of like some pre-made salad ideas. Um, this is the other chicken sausage that I got that we, um, I've had before and I really like it. Next, if you have like a little bit more time, trying these saute kits, Trader Joe's. I mean, they have, it just go through the produce, produce like the pre-made produce area and just search and you'll find so many fun fruits and vegetable ideas. This, um, they have tons and tons of these saute kits. I've tried a couple of them. I haven't tried this one before and I really wanted to. So miso vegetables and brown rice saute kit. And it's got tons and tons of vegetables. It has the sauce pack in it as well. It is for one cup, it's 90 calories. And that's, you know, one cup of vegetables is normally like the serving for the day. So you could easily do two or three servings and eat a lot. 
there's a lot of fiber. Well, there's um, two grams of fiber. So, I mean, if you're doing like two or three cups, you could get anywhere from four to six grams of fiber, which is pretty good for a meal. But again, I would recommend adding some sort of protein. So whether you do like shrimp with it, or you could easily add in the rosemary chicken. I don't know if it would taste all that good. Oh, not rose, this. Um, you could easily add in a chicken or anything else that you have on hand, or even like a dessert yogurt would be a great idea to making it more of a complete meal. So this could be an easy like weeknight dinner, or if you have a little bit more time for lunch and you can cook this, that's a great idea too. Next up, I'll just go ahead and show you these. So I found these, I haven't tried them yet, but um, they were really exciting to me because sometimes I don't want like a whole bunch of vegetables for my meal. These chicken enchiladas um, look super tasty to me and they, per each enchilada, there's four in here, it's 240 calories. So I would honestly probably use um, two of these as my whole meal and maybe do like a side of some very low calorie vegetable to make it a little more complete. Um, but you totally can still do these, just what you wouldn't wanna do the whole entire thing. There's four in here, so just do two and it should fill you up. I and mean, that's about 500 calories and you're getting 30 grams of protein. So all you would need to do is maybe add a vegetable, if that, and this would be a really great fast meal option, just like heat it up. What next? So I've been hearing about these heart of palm pasta. So it is pretty much like the vegetable heart of palm, but like all shredded up into a pasta, kind of like spaghetti squash or zoodles. Um, per, let's see, for the whole entire container, there is only 60 calories because it's a vegetable. So if you really like pasta, um, consider maybe switching to this for a lower calorie option. You could eat a lot more, or if you love pasta, you know, just eat a lower, like a, a lower portion of the pasta. But if you um, are trying to eat more volume of food, like maybe you're on a very low calorie diet, you struggle with hunger, doing um, something like this can make you feel like you're eating a ton of food. You can use whatever sauce you want because these are so low in calorie, you could probably pick even like an Alfredo sauce or a creamy sauce or something, and you can still enjoy the flavor while getting in a vegetable and making it very low calorie. So this is a great option at Trader Joe's as well. I found these, so I was trying to go through the frozen section. I'm personally not a big, like a big frozen meal person. I just haven't found ones that like taste all that great because I'm always trying to add vegetables in. And for me, like frozen vegetables, I just don't really like them, but I found these. So um, they are cauliflower gnocchi and these don't have a lot of protein, but the fiber in here is pretty good. So it's 140 calories for one cup of this. So that would get like your cup of vegetables. And then um, also there is six grams of fiber, which is actually pretty good. So when I'm looking for something that's frozen vegetables, I'm always looking at the fiber content because if it says it's like broccoli fries, but it only has like one gram of fiber, it's not worth the calories. These are worth the calories because you're getting fiber, which means you're staying full. And fiber is just like a powerhouse for health as far as like decreasing cancer risk, making you regular, feeding that microbiome, super great. So these could be a really great option for lunch as well. But again, you'd probably want to pair with a protein. So I thought the sausage could be a good option going with like an Italian vibe or even just like eating the chicken on the side or on top. Coming over to some, I guess some snacky stuff. So I used to snack on these all the time in college. So if you're in college and you're watching these, um, I didn't have like a mini fridge or anything. I just put these in a drawer in my dorm room and I used to eat them all the time. Again, if you are trying to go super low calorie and you struggle with hunger, these are a great snack to eat. They're really filling. I mean, literally they're like two to five calories per little pepper and they're mini sweet peppers. I know you can actually find these at Aldi as well. Um, Trader Joe's just has this huge bag. Sometimes they only come in small bags. So just eating by themselves. I see some people put like cream cheese in them. Of course, I would add more calories, but this is a super low calorie snack. If you feel like you need more volume in your day, but low calorie, these are a great option. I also love these little vegetables. I just went to the vegetable aisle to see if I can find anything that inspired me. They have tons of awesome vegetables that they don't have at other stores. These baby zucchinis are so fun. So if you're somebody who struggles with like making vegetables fun, go over and like look at all their vegetable options. They have like baby cauliflower, they have broccolini, they have fennel, so many fun vegetables. And just kind of like look at the little serving suggestions on how they say to make them on the tag. These little baby, zucum baby zucchinis are so cute to put in a soup, like chop them up and put in soup or even just um, roast them in the oven with garlic, salt, um, and pepper. And just a way to make like vegetables a little bit more fun if you feel like you're in like a rut. I'm um, coming over to drink. So um, if you know, I like uh, LaCroix if you see my other videos, but I'm always kind of like looking for the next best thing. I love the LaCroix. 
Um, but I'm always looking for like, maybe if there's something else out there. I also don't drink alcohol. So I'm always like looking for fun drinks to make me feel like I'm having fun um, without drinking alcohol. And it's like a struggle to find like virgin drinks. But Trader Joe's has a lot of like different drink options. So this black tea, it's sparkling black tea with peach juice is super tasty. I love it. It's only 15 calories. Um, and it's pretty much just like sparkling black tea with some peach juice in it. And it's really fun to have to pretend like you're having a fun night or even just like drinking throughout the day if you're tired from water. Um, so I really love this. This is interesting as well. So coconut um, water with yuzo. Don't really know what yuzo is. I've definitely heard of it, but I don't know what it is. Um, I think it's like a lemony drink, a uh, lemony something. Um, this is interesting. I personally don't like coconut water, but I always want to because I feel like the cool people like coconut water and I'm always like, oh, I'm going to try that. And then I don't like it as much. Um, and this, it tastes good and I objectively think it tastes good. To me, it kind of tastes like a less sweet version of Mountain Dew. Um, but for me, I don't know if I'd buy it again just because I personally don't like coconut water and I just need to admit, like, accept that. But if you like coconut water, this is a really great alternative to a soda or, um, even like alcohol at the end of the night. Um, it's 60 calories, so a little bit more than this, but still not bad for one drink. I also picked up this. I thought it was interesting. So turmeric um, ginger coconut beverage. Again, with the coconut, I need to just give up. But I had this, and it's actually not as bad. Turmeric is a powerhouse for anti-inflammation. So if you, like, work out a lot and you're sore, like you have, like, that delayed muscle soreness, or you just feel like you're chronically inflamed, or even if you're just trying to like be a little bit healthier, turmeric has amazing powers for anti-inflammatory. So this kind of like turmeric cold latte is a really great way for you to feel a little bit better. It helps with like indigestion. It is 80 calories, so I would consider it more of like maybe a morning drink or like a replacement of your coffee or even like a nighttime like, like relaxation. No, it does have a little bit more calories. But um, with the ginger and the turmeric, it's really gonna help with anti-inflammatory and just another way to like make drinking like a little bit more fun if you're tired of water and you just wanna make healthy foods fun. Um, lastly, with my snacks, I guess. Um, so this is not from Trader Joe's, but I love this popcorn. There's a local grocery store where I live. If you live in Raleigh, Weaver Street has this popcorn, but also Trader Joe's has this pop, I mean, uh, Whole Foods has it as well. I used to eat it all the time. It is a coconut oil. I know, coconut. I, like, always want to be a coconut girl, but, like, I need to give it up. <laughs> but this popcorn is actually pretty good. It has coconut oil, so it gives, like, a little bit more of a different flavor. I, I don't know how to... It's just, like, better flavor. Like, it almost tastes like movie theater popcorn to me, but it's really not that bad. Three cups is 110 calories. So, volume, baby, volume. It, like, you can eat so much of this, and um, it's not that many calories. Um, popcorn is also a whole grain. So, um, you are getting like extra set of whole grain, more fiber and vitamins and minerals that come with that. Um, and I think this is cute. I'm, I'm always trying to make like eating fun, eating healthy fun, because that's the only way I'm going to keep up with it. Because let's face it, like brownies and cupcakes are definitely more fun than broccoli. But if you keep it fun, I love the little like Buddha guy and it's just cute. And you know, you'll make, you'll eat more if you think it's fun. So I just think this is like a nice fun food if you're tired of like boring popcorn. All right, coming in here at the end, sorry. So um, I also got these crackers and cheese. These, I found these in the produce section. They're everything with the gluten crackers. I haven't tried them yet, but I feel like they're maybe like, are they like wasa crackers? Um, another fun way to stay healthy with grains. Grains are super important for you. Which is why when people tell me they do low carb, I'm like, oh, you need grains though, but whole grains. And there's a lot of great grains in this. So flax seed, um, oats, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, corn flour, quinoa flour, onion, garlic. These would be a great little like snack. Or if you are like, don't know how to incorporate a carb with your lunch or your dinner or a midday snack, these would be a great option. And I got them with Free. I'm actually not a huge fan of hummus. I thought about getting hummus, but I didn't want any. I used to like it and I burned myself out, but eating it with these little baby breeze is great. I've had these before and they are so cute. Look at them. They're like these tiny little brie bites and they're only 70 calories per piece. So I like if I was doing a midday snack, I'd probably do a cracker with a little brie bite and that would be a great like protein and a carb snack. Okay. One more thing. These are a really great dessert. So um, I love these. I need to just figure out how to make them. But um, four of these little chocolate bananas are only 100 calories. And so this is a great after dinner dessert. 
I'm trying to transition out of the chocolate hummus that I always do because I'm starting to get tired of it. And these are a great alternative. You're getting a serving, like a half a serving of fruit in, which is great. I always try to get like serving of fruit with my dessert to make it worth it. Um, but you're still getting that chocolate in and it's dark chocolate, which is a little bit healthier. So again, just another way to make eating healthy fun. Um, 100 calories for dessert, I think is great. Um, yes, okay, that is it. That's like my little mini Trader Joe's hauls to give you some ideas on ways to keep eating healthy fun and keep eating lower calorie fun. I hope that you like this. Please subscribe because I post videos every week on like grocery hauls and ideas and stuff like that. Also check out on my Instagram. I post on there like constantly all day long. You can find me on TikTok as well at Millennial Nutritionist. Um, and that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.